So to do a standard neck band, you're going to usually start by sewing your shoulder seams, which I've already done here. I've found the center point of the back and the front. You take your neck band piece and put right sides together and you're gonna sew down your two raw edges. When it's folded in half, you can really easily find your center point, which I've also done here. So for just a standard band, you're going to fold it in half. And I always start with folding the two um, or folding the surged part together. And you can put a little clip to keep that in place. Now I go around folding the neck band wrong sides together and clipping in just a couple of spots so that the band will stay together and stay nice and flat. Now when I get to this center point, I turn my clip around just so I remember which one is the center. And I keep clipping all the way around. Wait, Mom. So I've got all these clips that hold my bands with the wrong sides together. Now I know that that um, seam in the back is my back side, and then the clip that I turned around the other way is my front. So I'm laying that right inside my neck opening with the back against the back and the front against the front middle clip. I'm lining the two clips up for the front. Remove one and just make sure you clip all three layers. Same with the back. Now you're going to stretch the neck band to fit the neck opening. So I have the front and the back on these two sides and since those are clipped and ready to go, I use those in either hand and I stretch so that the shirt is laying nice and flat and the band is equally stretched. I'm pinching right here so that I have all three layers holding together and I move that clip so that it is clipping the band and the shirt. Now I'm stretching between these two once again to make sure I've got all of those layers nice and flat. And then we're going to turn it to the other side of the neck band and do the other side as well. Again, pinching to hold those three layers together and stretching the rest. So now you've got your neck band pinned to your front. And now we're going to serge all around the neck band. So I like to start with the back. Doesn't really matter where you start because you'll be surging in a whole circle. So just getting it under my foot there. And you're gonna take off one clip at a time as you surge and stretch between. So that's right where my first clip was. Make sure that you're not catching any of the neck band in the rest of it. You're just getting these three layers. Now, as you go, you're just stretching slightly so that from your needles to your next clip is laying nice and flat. It's stretched just enough to where they're all laying flat and even. Once you get to that clip, take it off. Find your next clip and stretch it so that it's nice, flat, and even. And we're just gonna do this all the way around. Now when you get to where you had started surging, you're just gonna treat that like it was another clip and make sure you're stretched evenly. Overlap your seam just a little. And chain it off. Now to end your surged edge here, you can unravel these pieces and tie them in a knot. Um, you can just tie it in a regular knot without unraveling them as well. I use a really big darning needle that has a large eye and I thread my serger tail through it
and then I put it through the loops that I surged and pull it through. Cut off that excess and you can use a small dot of fray check if you want to keep that in place but honestly I've never used it and I've never had one unravel. So that will give you your regular band and I've used gray thread so that you can see the difference here but you are always welcome to match your thread if you'd like to. But there is your neck band evenly stretched. You can leave it like this. You can go through and top stitch it if you would like. Um, that's completely up to you. Now, the method that we used here for stretching the neck band as we sewed around in the circle will be the same basic method that you will use for any of the others. For the binding, um, you're only going to be sewing one layer of the band to the shirt, but the same basic premise of stretching as you sew will apply.